What we've done is put three, uh, four different levels here, and most of the cases that are kind of coming to my office are going to be between two and three. Um, stage one is really first-time occurrences. They're fairly mild, haven't had a history of ear disease. Um, level two is it's become recurrent. So if it's maybe one or two episodes per year, I may not get too aggressive. But if it's the kind of thing where as soon as they stop using medications, it's right back again. Um, or level three, where it just never quite clears up, or it's just been a constant problem all along. These are the two cases now, these are the two levels now where I'm going to be a lot more aggressive in my therapy. Level four is what I call in-stage otitis externa. And that is either because the owners cannot medically treat that patient or it is so bad because the ear canal is now proliferative or mineralized. And at the very beginning, we have the conversation of total ear canal ablation. They all panic. They think that's barbaric. How could we possibly do that? But I think sometimes if you liken it to having a chronic um, migraine headache, then that kind of puts it into uh, an area that they can understand and, and they can kind of move forward and help to make that decision. But very often I'll have people say, no way, not happening. And we have to now go into our procedure, which is a videotoscopy um, anesthetic procedure, which we'll discuss in a moment, um, as sort of a last resort before they really have no other choice but to go to this.